I'm from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony. As you can see, I got Marty with me today. We are at Baseball Card Castle, and we are about to find some heat, guys. This place is awesome. One of the better local card shops here in Pittsburgh. All kinds of good stuff. Definitely loaded when it comes to Penguin stuff, too. This is probably one of the places that has the most penguin stuff out of any of the card shops in the city they just have tonnage when it comes to the pens but they have a ton of stuff just in general guys they've they've been around for a long time really fair nice guys that own the place definitely suggest checking it out if you're ever in the pittsburgh area it's called baseball card castle really awesome place check that out it's a piece of stick right there Speaking of sticks, how about some game used sticks, guys? They got a whole bunch of them here. That's pretty sick. Just tons of awesome Pepwin stuff, guys. If you're a Pens fan, this is definitely the shop for you to go visit. Really awesome stuff. Of course, let's just keep it going. Pens, baby. What you know about that little Mario Lemieux 90s action? That's what I grew up on, guys. The little Lemieux Yager. Ronnie Francis, what you know about that? All kinds of real nice stuff in there. Sick little Malkin jersey right there. That's what I'm talking about. Now these bins right here, guys, this is where you can really find some good deals. I found some really good deals in here in the past, guys. And they have it separated by player. So literally you can just walk by and look at the little tabbies and See who you're looking for. And then up on the walls, they'll have it by sport. Uh, this wall right here is mainly baseball, but underneath it is basically a slew of everything mixed in bargain bins. So there's a good there's a good chance you're gonna find some pretty good stuff in those bins, guys, because they throw a lot in there. Basically, whatever can't fit up on the walls or the display cases, they throw in these bins and you can find some real gems guys let me tell you but they also put some pretty good stuff up on the walls and just some really cool stuff guys check out all of these cards just tonnage 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 always love coming to this shop because they always have new stuff out really cool displays just sick cards everywhere you look guys it's definitely what you like to see in a local card shop is just awesome stuff everywhere you go. That's nice. What year is that? Uh, I can't remember. It's where I am, man. 01 or 2000. I just thought this one was a card. Yeah, it's pretty safe. Dr. J signed ball. This this case right here is just disgusting. I know, dude. The power. That's Zion Orange Laser, sick. Why hoops rookie? Oh, look at all the Kobe's. Did you see the Kobe's? What's that? Did you see the Kobe's? Yes. Did you see his Hall of Fame speech? Tom? Is that first year? Is that first year up there? Looks pretty clean to me, but like without actually being able to like take it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
because I've been looking a lot more into vintage football lately. I'll play it. That's pretty sick. I wonder what the person on that is. Oh, yeah, that is pretty sick. Oh, dude, too bad Amazon didn't show up yet. We could have brought that uh, travel, oh, that would be awesome. travel scope. Any players you got your eye on for modern football market? happened with Rogers. You hoping to find a Michael Vick? But only if you charge me uh, fifty dollars after looking it up for forty seven. That's a nice Rogers. Yeah he does. It's just like his mid end thing. Okay? Yeah, this is me. They definitely got some cool stuff here. Yeah, he always does. Dude, last I time I. Nice channel or something like that. Yeah. Dude, it's been a while since I've been here, but last time I got some of those Bam out of Bio rookies for a dollar. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. It's right there, it's pretty good. It's not a bad deal at all. Yeah. From what I've seen, that set, as long as the corners are good, grades pretty well. Oh, you're looking, I thought you were looking at the yellow one. But yeah, acetate grades pretty well normally too. Like if you get less than a nine on acetate, it's probably clear. Clearly it'd be dangerous. Yeah. Scratches. Scratches on it? No, 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 on this. I meant on the uh, Donruss? Yeah. Yeah. It broke my heart. Four hundred dollars on a box, and it literally got for eight ten dollars on my return on this one. Sucks. There are all types of wax on there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with part two of this vlog. May God bless you, and I hope you take it easy.